Turning now to more breaking news overnight. North Korea firing a barrage of short-range missiles into the Sea of Japan. ABC's White House correspondent Tara Palmieri is on the North Lawn of the White House with that story. Tara, good morning. Good morning, Wit. It was clearly a provocative move by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un since President Trump walked out of their second summit in Hanoi in February. It also hurts President Trump's claim that North Korea is no longer a nuclear threat because they haven't launched missiles. Overnight, North Korea increasing tensions, firing off a barrage of short-range missiles that landed in the Sea of Japan. This is the first missile launch since November 2017, when leader Kim Jong-un promised to stop testing long-range missiles that could reach the United States. National Security Advisor John Bolton briefing President Trump. It's the latest show of force since North Korea threatened retaliation over joint U.S. and South Korea military drills in April. A possible sign of escalating tensions despite President Trump's several attempts at reaching a denuclearization agreement. Chairman Kim, are you ready to denuclearize? If I'm not willing to do that, I won't be here right now. <laughs> That's a good answer. Wow, that might be the best answer you've ever heard. The president's last meeting with Kim in February, ending with a dark turn after President Trump walked out of the Hanoi summit after just two hours. Sometimes you have to walk. And uh, this was just one of those times. In a recent meeting with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un stated that the U.S., quote, acted in bad faith during that summit. U.S. officials tell me there has been radio silence between the U.S. and North Korea since that summit. The North Koreans also aren't speaking to South Korea. These officials tell me that the U.S. sent a letter to North Korea, but they have yet to hear back. But they're still hopeful that Kim Jong-un wants to return to the table. Eva. All right, Tara Palmieri, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.